welcome to another Our Auto Expert review. This is the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. It's a mid-cycle refresh for Mercedes-Benz. Now, I think mid-cycle refreshes are really important. Why? Because the car is settled, the design is settled, but what the car company does is work out all the bugs and add a whole bunch of new technology during that mid-cycle refresh. This is actually a super important car. Why? It's the number one luxury car in the world. They've actually sold around 4 million of these cars. China makes up by far the biggest chunk of these vehicles. That's about 30% of the regular S-Class sales and about 60% of the Maybach sales in China. Now, 6,500 parts are taken to make up this new S-Class. About half of those parts, approximately, are completely brand new on this 2018 model. There's some unbelievable technologies, some really cool world firsts in this vehicle, and things that'll make your heart pound as well as your head if you're in the wrong place. Let's get inside, let's drive it, let's check it out. That's coming up here on this Our Auto Expert review. Well, let's talk about driving dynamics in the car, and my drive partner today is Laura Burstein. Am I saying it right? Because you always accuse me of saying your name wrong. No, it's correct. <laughs> wow, look at that. Unless you're in right. Germany and there's Burstein. Oh, Burstein. But um, you are Miss Rob Report. I write for the Rob Report. <laughs> yes. That is correct. <laughs> Am I being too presumptuous in calling you Miss Rob Report? Um, I don't think so. So you've driven the S-Class, we uh, drove the AMG, and uh, now we're in the, uh, which I didn't let you drive uh, the You have not letting me. You have let not letting me. <laughs> and you're really good at English, I too, have you? really, yeah, it's called the jet lag, it's, it's taking over, it's very late. So we drove earlier in the day the um, 63 AMG. Right. Uh, let's talk about that. How do you feel? Oh, it's great. Um, I mean, what's amazing with the entire S-Class lineup, and especially with the AMG, is it's all new engines. So it's a V8 engine, it's smaller displacement from the previous engine, but it's more power. So that also means it's more efficient. Like the other models of the S-Class, there is cylinder deactivation. So if you're just cruising around or stuck in traffic behind little tiny hatchbacks on the road like we've been stuck behind <laughs> which today. Which we have a name for, which is yes. not PC. Can I say it in French? Yes. What de merde. There and you I'm go. sure you can look that up. Look it up on um, Google. Google very, it. Very, Dot com it. It's a very nice sounding way of uh, insulting I small cars. Am. But so it's, it's amazing because um, Mercedes-Benz has been doing this great thing with polarity, I guess is what you would say, because there's efficiency and technology, but there's also performance at the same time. So I think the spread, as it were, of the range of capabilities of what the car can do is just increasing. And so that means that you can drive an AMG on four cylinders in traffic and get great gas mileage, or you can just click it over into Sport Plus and just tear it up. I mean, we were on the Autobahn earlier, and I think I got up to about 215 kilometers yeah, per hour. Yeah. The cool thing about the uh, new inline six, which... Um, we are not getting in the US. But actually we are. Yet. Yet. We, Yet would be the good thing to add. We're not getting it now. So the, the new inline uh, six cylinder actually comes with, it's not a hybrid engine, but it comes with a 48... 45 kilowatt. Uh, 15 kilowatt, 48 volt. 48 volt, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so 48 volt battery. Too many numbers. 15 kilowatt um, motor Electric on motor. it. Yeah, and it's not a hybrid because it doesn't power the car, it just powers the engine. So it uses this as a start, it uses it for uh, helping with the compression ratio, it uses it to uh, turn off um, the engine, the, the main engine itself, and just power the vehicle that way. Uh, but they, they don't have to call it a hybrid because it actually doesn't power the crankshaft directly. You um, spent a lot of time with the interior designer. What did you learn? So the basic um, technology and layout of the new S-Class comes from the E-Class. So as you may remember a year ago, the new E-Class completely redesigned. It was introduced with these beautiful dual widescreen displays. So one in front of you and one in the center stack, as well as these little um, 
two touch pads for your thumbs, one on either side on the steering wheel. So what that does is enables you to use or access either one of these screens without having to touch the center console. Um, the other thing too, I mean, Mercedes, I really think has the most beautiful interiors in the business. So having this diamond stitched um, leather dash is just beautiful. The, if you look, there's double stitching on the sides of the doors with contrasting piping. And so just really a big focus on quality fit and finish. And um, really, I think some of the best materials in the industry. Yeah, and they've done a really good job. And of course, it is the uh, the best selling and uh, the, the, probably the most famous luxury car in the world. So uh, to keep themselves on top of the heap, they've got to do all of these extra right. things with it. And then uh, let's talk about this wellness center, which yes. is really cool. So several different programs. You can go into the system and choose from a number of programs, which is 10 minutes long. Right. And you can choose Joy, Vitality. I don't remember what some of the other ones were. Uh, warmth, wasn't it? Warmth. Something. So basically what happens is an air freshener system, the audio system, the seat massage, and the climate control will all work in concert. And, and the uh, interior lighting. Uh, and ambient lighting, ambient yes, lighting. if it's nighttime will work in concert to provide a certain mood. Uh, so your overall impression, we don't know, pricing, in fact, pricing, um, fuel economy, and uh, on sale date are, we, all, we, we were told that we would know by Oktoberfest, which is a brilliant, a brilliant by Oktoberfest, everything will be revealed. I love this car, especially the dual screens. It handles extremely well. I'm poisoned after being in the AMG version. Yeah. I have to so, say, yeah. the same thing happened to me. I got into the 500, which in itself is great, but it also has the electric drive that you were talking about, and there's a um, coasting function, so you can actually feel the system. Shut off. I don't know if it's an actual decoupling or yeah, yeah shutting off so that you can run on electricity. It has electricity. to be an eco mode between 30 and 100 miles an hour. But um, what my impression is for a cruiser and everyday commuter it's a much more comfortable car if you start to push it hard around the corners there's no sport plus mode just sport mode it will handle the corners fine but you feel the weight a little bit more it's um, the word i used earlier it feels a little more ponderous than the amg but of course the amg is tuned first and foremost for performance so when you get into that car first and start taking these great winding roads you're not going to have the same experience when you jump into another S class. Right, and you and I both like dude like speed and power. So we like Sport class all the time. Yes. You could just tell all by sport looking, all at, the time. looking at Laura that she's a sport plus girl. Yes. And I apologize for the um, stereotyping and bad German accent. I know I'm it was bad, it was pretty I'm accurate. I've offended any Germans, I apologize. <laughs> uh, apology is a I have to disclaimer. say dynamism, I think that's required. Hello from my side. Yes, There's a few. hello from my side. This is what always they say in the German company. There's a few um, sort of catchphrases that you need to nail when you're going on a German festive trip. And that in the Wii 6 engine. The Wii. The oh vehicle. dear, now we've knocked on Germany. So uh, you'll have to look for the more information about price and availability. Uh, that's coming up soon, but uh, the S-Class, uh, middle cycle refresh, really well put together. Well, I hope you enjoyed our review of the brand new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Uh, driving it from Switzerland to Germany and back to Switzerland was definitely uh, two days of full excitement. If you want to see more reviews, you can, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to ourautoexpert.com or even testmiles.com. And if you don't go there, my dogs don't get fed. <laughs>